What's going on guys, Came on here, and today I'm going to bring you guys the updated version, or the version number two of the Nordic deck. Some of y'all really, really, really like this deck, and I like it too. So I did say, if the, uh, the, uh, if the video gets 50 likes, I'll show you guys this version, so this is me delivering on that, so thank you guys so much. Also, we're so close to, uh, like, what, 1600 subscribers, I think, something like that. Excited, as you can see. Also, got my hair done, got my hair did, you know what I mean? Nice and fluffy, they didn't shave yet, but anyway, y'all ain't here for that. So anyways, let's get into it. So, I actually decided to mix Nordic Swift, drum roll, drum roll, Runic. <laughs> I thought like, yo, I feel like the Runic stuff would be pretty good in here. I just didn't want to go buy the Runic stuff, you know what I mean? So I decided to just do it this way. Normally I wouldn't do it on Dueling Book, but you know, kind of, kind of, kind of low on funds. So hope you guys do enjoy it. So anyway, so. We got three Nordic Smith, three Pig. <laughs> We're not doing this. Three Pig, three of, of the Alvis, uh, two Black Goat, two Valkyrie, and the one Mara. We're still running the um, the uh, Brave engine because I still feel like that's the best engine to actually run in here. And the fact that the Brave engine got a reprint in the latest set it's super good to get like right now if I was you. So we're running three three Temple and then one Griffin Rider and just three Ash. I think Ash is amazing still, no matter what. Hits almost any deck. No, it hits actually every deck. Every deck will search, every deck will dump, every, every deck will summon, you know what I mean? So just Ash it. Now for the spells, uh, three right of Amazier, right? Two Runic Fountain, because it's at two, not at three. Three Runic Tip, three Runic Flashing Fire, Three, uh, two runic freezing curses and two runic destruction along with the draco back and the future and the faithful adventure with the call of by and obviously the best trap card ever so like ideally like your normal field will literally be of uh it, it'll be of your nordic ascendant right plus odin plus the trap card plus runic fountain with a bunch of um runic cards so it's like <laughs> like it's super good you may want to get like flashing fire so it's like imagine like your your actual field on top of like a big like negate everything you know what i mean like that's literally insane i don't know how long i'm gonna make this video or anything but like i just wanted to show you guys like what i was cooking up a little bit and like this is something actually you know what Let's do some like tests. How about that? Duly note, I am not a runic player. So, you know, I, I don't, yeah. You're a phony. Hey everybody, this guy's a great big phone. Okay, so we got a pretty good hand. Not gonna lie, pretty good hand. So we can normal summon Smith and declare Smith effect, right? We get the one card and one card only, which is uh, our boy right here. And now we're going to link away into our girl here, Declare. And we're only going to banish um, Alpha, and then his effect will, will trigger. Oh, no, no. So we banish one, and then we'll summon, right? Uh, I guess we'll summon um, Defense here, right? Then this effect will trigger. You can send to the graveyard one Nordic monster and... Yeah, so you summon that effect, you're gonna send another one of its copy to grave, to grave, and this to grave. Then you're gonna summon your Odin in defense mode, right? And then you can um, activate this right here get the token and then we're gonna go place Ooh, where is aha right we can use the effect here oh i grabbed the <laughs> hold on sorry it's like it's super late here i'm like dumb tired that is not what we wanted here we go the spell and trap zone there we go 
Once per turn, if, if it's first time, monster yeah, da, 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 da. So now we can use the effect here. We're gonna declare. We're gonna add to hand. Then we can get the well, get the Draco back, right? So add the hands in the graveyard, then effect triggers. Dispel and trap zone here. Equip it to our boy here. Which will summon Griffin. Set this. And now we can set these, these two. And now we're good to go. So obviously if we had Fountain, this, this we wouldn't have to set these two. But think about it. We have... She can't be targeted for attacks. Our Odin is safe. So even if they have Lightning Storm, he's, he's good to go. 35 defense, nothing to joke about. We have this here. And we have uh, Griffin Riders to get anything. And we also have Freezing Curses. And we have Flashing Fire. So let's reset. And just draw another one. Ooh, this hand is not really the best, but we could do something with it. So we could normal summon, and then we don't really use the effect here. Put in the grave here. Like, most of your combos will be the, the freaking same. And, and so here we have the call by, right? If they let, if they let, 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 let this resolve, you can banish the call by. So you banish the call by, banish, and you can banish this. You don't really need it. Because it's like, you you only really want it just so you can bounce stuff back. Boom, boom, boom. Declare. Add to hand here. Grave, grave, grave. Set. And then, uh... Boom, you're good to go. So, like... <laughs> Like, I feel like this build is actually a lot more consistent and better. Watch out for droll stuff like that. But, yeah, I mean, like, again, I'm not the best runic player or anything like that. And, like, the faithful adventure stuff, like, like I'll tell you right now. Hold on, where's it at? Uh, this card right here confuses me at times. You know what I mean? But, overall, if you genuinely like this deck and you're familiar with the runic stuff and the faithful stuff, definitely run it. You know what I mean? I don't see any kind of issue with you actually running it. As you can see, me being a super noob to this stuff, like it's still, it's still playable. And I think it's pretty unique. Only deal is, if you top with this deck, you let them know where you got the idea from, all right? <laughs> but yeah, uh, I guess we'll end the video here. Pretty short, I know, but nothing, nothing, nothing too crazy. Like, I still think it's playable, it's fun. If I had the cards physically, you know, I'd profile it, but I didn't want to, like, spend that amount. Like, because, like, if we go to, like, we see G, right? Runic Fountain. Like, oh, it was, like, 30 bucks still, right? I was, like, 10? I was, oh, it went down, right? Yo, hold on. <laughs> Yo, hold on. <laughs> Runic. Uh, tip. Let's do this. Oh, that is more expensive. Uh, let's see. That's twenty dollars. Yo, chat. Y'all can go get this stuff. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, hope you guys did enjoy it, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Sorry, it's like a shorter video, but I'm not really too used to doing dueling book stuff. You know what I mean? But I'll get more used to it. Be streaming soon, and yeah. Have an awesome one. Peace.